Welcome to Japan Photo Explore, where we travel to and photograph extraordinary places. Today, Ted and I are on the island of Hokkaido on a winter drive around stunning Lake Toya. In my five winter trips to Japan, this would have to rate as one of the best winter drives I've ever done. We'll be stopping wherever we can in search of scenic winter landscapes to photograph. This was the view from my hotel window when I visited Lake Toya in 2015. It was a brief but memorable overnight stop. The main town on the lake is Toyako. Because there are hot springs or onsen in this area, Lake Toya is a year-round resort, although winter is definitely the quietest season. but perhaps also it's most beautiful. What do you think, Ted? This is such an incredible landscape. I'm sure it's beautiful in all the other seasons, but in winter, with snow, it's absolutely magical. Last time, I didn't have a car, which meant that I couldn't really explore beyond the town. I felt that I'd barely scratched the surface of what Lake Toya had to offer, so I knew that I would have to come back. At its deepest, Lake Toya is 180 metres deep and is said to be the most northern of Japanese lakes that doesn't get covered with ice. The weather forecast for today is variable, ranging from snow to sunshine and pretty well everything in between. The wind coming off the lake can feel icy in winter, but fortunately only light winds are forecast today. So far as I'm concerned, the weather could not be better. The variation in light is going to give us a lot of different opportunities to photograph each location. And the light winds will make the day reasonably comfortable for the middle of winter. You know, Nick, Lake Toya is shaped like a donut because it's a caldera lake. It's formed by a gigantic volcano eruption. And four of the islands near the centre were lava domes that rose and cooled. It's amazing to think we're standing on the edge of a volcanic caldera. Can you imagine what it was like when this thing blew itself up? Ah, the perks of travelling with a geologist. All I can say, Ted, is that I'm glad I wasn't around for the fireworks. This is our first stop a small farming town with a hot spring and a shrine. What a beautiful view over the lake. Do you think anybody lives here during winter? Place looks deserted. It is a beautiful view, Ted, and I think there are still people around to enjoy it. They're just not that interested in venturing outside unless absolutely necessary. That's worth getting cold feet for, Nick. How beautiful. Hard to go wrong with that bright vermilion Tory gate against the snowy backdrop. We're driving up the west shoreline of the lake, which, during the morning, is going to get the best light. Like other places in Japan in winter, on small rural roads, they are only cleared sufficiently to allow cars to pass each other. It's not possible to pull over except for designated parking spaces. And that's going to determine where and what we photograph.
Apart from accessing out-of-the-way places, another advantage of having a car as a base is that even though the temperature is hovering around zero, we don't really get that cold. Well, I wasn't expecting to see anything like that there. Actually, Lake Toya is known for having sculptures dotted around the lake. Now, that's something I really didn't expect to see there. Nor did I, Ted. The mystery is revealed as we go around a bit further. This is my new friend from Sapporo. He's come down with his mate for some winter canoeing on the lake. He relaxes with his shelter and fire while his friend enjoys a paddle. I'm very partial to the minimalist aesthetic and this location delivers in spades. As we drive around, the views only get better. And the highlight has to be this scenic viewpoint with a tiny two-storey pagoda, built to worship Prince Shotoku. Just when you think it can't get any better, you find something like this. What a jewel. I could not agree more, Ted. On our last stop, we stumble upon this sign. Who knew that there were eight famous views of Lake Toya? Well, now that you've watched this video, you know. What a great day, Nick. Absolutely. You know, Ted, I thought today would just be about the photography, and it was a great photography location. But on reflection, that drive was really something. Driving down roads like this is one of the joys of being in Japan in winter. And here, if you're not confident to drive on snow, you can even do it in a taxi. I would class today's drive as one of the most scenic winter drives that I've ever done in Japan. There are other more well-known winter destinations in Hokkaido, but if you like winter landscapes, Lake Toya has to be up with the best of them. Highly recommended. We're running out of time, so we turn off at the road heading back to our base in Mururan, about 50 kilometres away, to get there before dark. If you have any comments or questions about travelling and photographing in Japan, I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to help our channel grow, click that like button. To be notified of new Japan Photo Explore stories, please subscribe and make sure to click on the bell icon to get upload notifications. See you in the next video.